Hello, everyone. Sherilyn Thomas with Herbal Essentials. I'm super excited to talk to you today about the herb alfalfa. So alfalfa is such a wonderful, versatile herb. It's in lots of uh, super greens and those kind of products. And I love to take it every day. I instantly feel it coming right directly into my blood system and it gives me a lot of energy. So I highly recommend it, recommend taking it every single morning. And it's a great benefit for an energy boost in the afternoon as well. So the alfalfa uh, for a human, in, a human uh, ingestion, is used from the stems or the leaves or sprouts from the seeds, okay? So I use it as a um, as a powder, so I get it that way. And alfalfa assists in, I'm just gonna tell you a few ways in which it's beneficial and how it's used and where kind of it's come from, um, where it has come from historically, okay? So alfalfa assists in digestion and assimilation of nutrients. It's a powerhouse. It has uh, essential minerals, vitamins, and enzymes, and nourishes and builds the body. It eliminates uric acid. It's rich in protein. It helps relax the nerves. It cleans the blood. It goes through, our liver is wonderful. It cleans the blood every three minutes. And this alfalfa herb really helps to support our liver to be able to cleanse the blood. So it's helpful in um, when we have cholesterol accumulation in the veins, it builds and cleans and strengthens the entire body. It has lots of beta carotene for healthy skin, mucous membranes, and the immune system. It has reliable sources for vitamin E, and it's a very high source of calcium. It's one of the highest chlorophyll-bearing plants that is known out there. And let's see, alfalfa is rich in the source of vit vitamin B12, as well as vitamin A. Alfalfa contains all of the known vitamins and minerals for life. So it's really, really wonderful herb to use every day. Some of the some of these um, essential essential minerals and vitamins are found in trace amounts. So alfalfa is not entirely a perfect food. You need to have other things as well. So alfalfa is a member of the pea family and is native to Western Asia and Eastern Mediterranean. It's probably an originating from Armenia. So it's named by the Arabs, alfalfa meaning the father of all foods. Isn't that fantastic? The father of all foods is alfalfa. So it's recorded use in, it has recorded use in China, India, as well as Northern American Indians, but we did not see it usually appear in herbal medicine textbooks until the 19th century. So again, Alfalfa is very rich in chlorophyll and has vitamins A, B6, D, vitamin E, vitamin K, and vitamin U. Um, it has multiple minerals, including iron, potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Alfalfa also contains eight essential amino acids and is high in protein. So alfalfa is one of the best natural sources of vitamin K. This nutrient helps the blood to clot by moving calcium into proteins that form a microscopic net to capture red blood cells. So vitamin K likewise helps bones to knit by working with vitamin D. So it's really, really a great um, knitter for that. Uh, it's essential to building good bone. Alfalfa not only helps keep calcium in bones, but it helps keep calcium out of the linings of the arteries. So lots of herbs and um, natural products are adaptogenic in that they know what our body needs and it adapts and goes to wherever our body is manifesting that it needs something. All right, the, the alfalfa plant enzymes assist in good digestion. It has chlorophyll, vitamins, and minerals, and all of those stimulate the appetite. The enzymes are sufficiently present to help in the digestion of all four classes of food, the proteins, the fats, the starches, and the sugars. And then I mentioned it has vitamin U. So vitamin U is also present in raw cabbage. So that's cool. 
Alfalfa has a mild has mild diuretic properties, which may help to reduce any kind of swelling in the body. The chlorophyll helps to develop an effective barrier against infection by protecting against um, bacterial uh, invasion. And lastly, the seeds and sprouts in above ground parts of the plant are the ones that are primarily used. And the sprout can be eaten and the plant can be taken as a capsule or as a tea. And again, uh, I use it kind of as a, in my uh, super greens formula. And so I really love using alfalfa every day and I love the benefits and the high energy that it grants us. So have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Enjoy your herb alfalfa.